everyone and welcome to another review. Today we're going to go ahead and review a fragrance from the house of Room 1015. We're going to go ahead and review a fragrance called today Powered Ballad. Now, Power Ballad was released this year in 2016. It is actually a relatively new house. The house was just created last year in 2015, and it's a very interesting one that I'll go ahead and allow you to read up on a little bit later if you're so inclined and interested. Now, the bottle and the design of it, it's very simple, uh, you know, very simple. It has a kind of like an elegant feel to it, which is nice, uh, but there's really nothing, not much to write home about in the bottle presentation. Now, the bottle and sizes that it comes in is just one main size. It comes in 100 milliliter, and that is going to run you $145. So it's relatively on the lower side in terms of niche fragrance prices go. It is on the lower end, which is nice. Um, you know, I'm actually of the mind that the fragrances should cost around there, but that's just my personal opinion. So this is relatively well priced. All right. So let's go ahead and dive right into the actual smell now. The notes are listed on screen, but the main thing that I want to actually take away here from this fragrance is uh, the mint, right? The mint is the star of this fragrance, uh, and it's being supplemented by citruses and uh, woods and juniper. Now, when I say mint, it almost, uh, I'm, I love mixed drinks, right? And so one of my favorite mixed drinks is always whenever they mix mint with um, jalapeno or with some spicy component. I love spicy mojitos. I love spicy drinks in general just because it adds a little kick to it. And that's what this really reminds me of. This reminds me of like a jalapeno mint mojito, if you will. And it comes out really well. It comes out really nice. And as I'm walking around, you know, with it, it really does have that quality. Um, the woods and the citrus kind of you know, give it, mellow, mellow it out a little bit, but that jalapeno mojito smell kind of remained throughout the entire fragrance, and it really is uh, something that I really do enjoy. Um, the juniper kind of, you know, also gives it uh, a unique woodsy smell, so it's not like a generic woodsy smell that you're uh, smelling, but uh, the juniper, um, I want to say, I want to say the juniper kind of adds like a sharpness quality to it, right? So it's not really the, the woods juniper that I'm really thinking of, but it's really more the juniper, um, the berry, the juniper berry. That's what I kind of what I was looking for, uh, what it comes off of. Um, and that's kind of what it puts together for me. Now, the final note that I get from this one is this leather component. The leather component is very subtle, but it's definitely there. Uh, and it kind of bakes throughout the fragrance and inter you know, it's very, it's mixed very well with the fragrance such that the, the leather isn't the most prominent note, but it's definitely there and it's one that accentuates the fragrance, if you will. So overall, it comes across as a citrusy, woody scent that has leather undertones, right? And the citrusy portion obviously is that minty, citrusy minty, should I say, is that uh, mojito-like vibe. So this is a fragrance that I fell in love with. I absolutely love this fragrance and I think it is a great, uh, addition to the house of, 10, 15, of room 1015, if you will. I go about four sprays with this one. This is a fragrance that, it's not a projection monster, but it's not a slouch at all. It's, I'd say, an average uh, projection and performance wise. And hours on my skin, I'm getting about six to seven hours generally around that time frame. But I should note that this has dropped off my skin after about three hours at times, but it's lasted on my skin upwards of like eight hours. So just keep that in mind. The average was around six that I was uh, pertaining for this one. So you might have a little bit of a different experience if you try it on, but I highly suggest you at least try it. Now, it's a great spring fragrance, it's a great summer fragrance, um, and it's also a good casual fragrance. I can kind of see you wearing it to work at times, but I think that this is more suited to uh, a casual scenario. I'm not, I love alcoholic fragrances. You guys know I love boozy notes, those fragrances that remind me of that, but I don't think they're overall appropriate for wearing to work. So that's just my opinion. You can wear it wherever the heck you actually want. All right, uh, age group wise, I think this is a good fragrance for any age. No matter what age you are, you can go ahead and pull this one off. And compliment wise, this did garner a good amount of compliments when people smelled it, when I had them smell it. When, as far as unsolicited comments, compliments goes, as I was wearing them, I did get one. I got a comment and it was specifically of someone who thought that I had been drinking a mojito, believe it or not. So that was a positive, um, 
justification for what I was smelling, if you will, uh, for it. Now, it will be said that I, there is an asterisk on that, and the asterisk is that I happened to be talking with that person about mojitos before, so I think that may have put that in the person's mind when they actually uh, smelled it past. So, if you will, maybe it's a little bit tainted. All right, so let's go ahead and get into the rating. If I'm going to go ahead and give this fragrance a rating, I give this fragrance a rating an 8 out of 10. I think this is a very solid release from the house of Room 1015. It's a very interesting fragrance. I've never seen uh, these boozy notes kind of done this way to the point where it reminds you of booze, but it's not the overall central theme. It's more like, yeah, this is kind of like a boozy fragrance. It's got that mojito, spicy mojito vibe, but at the same time, it's its own thing. It's not actually trying to be that, but that's kind of how it's coming off. And that's, you know, very interesting. So it's a great smelling fragrance. You're going to get a decent price for this fragrance. It's, again, $145 is pretty good for a niche fragrance price-wise. It comes across sometimes as sensual. Uh, I can kind of see where it may get a little bit of a sensual vibe, but I still wouldn't recommend it for a date or anything like that. Uh, and I really do think that it is a nice different take on citrus and woods kind of mixed in. Now, why it kind of loses points? The spotty performance at times. I did notice that the performance was kind of jumped all over the place. And if it was getting, uh, you know, four hours or three, four hours or whatever it was, then it's kind of like, eh, you know, it wouldn't be so good. But as long as you're getting that at least six hours, I think this is a solid one. Um, and also, it's a little bit limited in its use. I really think that it's a great casual fragrance for the warmer weather months, but outside of that, I think it becomes a little bit more limited in its use. All right? So let me know what your thoughts are on. If you've had a chance to get your nose on this fragrance, I actually high, highly recommend you at least smelling this one just because I think it does a really good, unique job in what it's doing. All right? Thank you, guys. Take care of yourselves, and you guys have a great day.